Hey guys, welcome to another Stubbs Effects tutorial. Today we're doing something called 3D composition. The only thing that you need to make sure when filming is that you have enough light. Another thing that you want to do is make sure you have a difference in colors within your video. Shooting on something like this blank wall will not be good because the pixels are all the same and the tracker won't detect any movement. Alright, so now we're going to go on the computer and head into editing. Okay, once you download Blender, you're going to want to open it up and make sure you have a Python version installed. If you look in the console window when you open up Blender, it'll say compiled with Python version and then the version number. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is turn our AVI file that we shot into a Targa sequence. And this basically lets the Voodoo camera tracker work with the file. What we're going to want to do is select everything in the scene except the camera and just delete it. So right click on the square, hit delete on your keyboard, and then hit enter and then select this little light with right click hit delete and hit enter now if you look to the bottom here you'll see a little grid that means we're in 3d view if you click it we can go to video sequence editor now if we go to add we can add a movie or a movie plus audio but I just want mine to be a movie right now and now look for your file so now as you see your video is stuck to your mouse bring it to the first frame so it'll say a 1 right here and just click down. Now if we go back into 3D view we can hit the 0 key on your number pad and that'll bring us to the camera view. Now what we're going to want to do is go into the scene button. Now we're in the render settings. We're going to want to make these settings the same as our video. And over here it's going to say do sequence and that's what we're going to want to pick because we loaded our video into the sequence editor. Now we're going to have to look where our video ends. So we're going to go back into the video sequence editor. And if we use the middle mouse button to scroll down. And if we click and drag our left mouse button to the end of the frame. We can see down here that it ends on 353. So down here where it says end under in our render settings. We're going to put 353 or whatever yours is going to be. So now over here it says output and this is where we're going to want to browse to where we want to save all of our images. And all we're going to do now is click animate and we wait. Now if you look up into the render window you will see your video playing and it's just putting it all together into these images. Okay, now once it's done rendering, you'll be able to function in Blender again, but we don't need anything now, so we're going to exit the Blender render and exit Blender altogether. And if we go into the folder where all the pictures were saved, we'll see that they're all here. What we're going to do now is open up our downloaded program, Voodoo. Now, as you see, it's a pretty easy interface. There is just the console in the background and then the actual program right here. We're going to go to File, Open, and Open Sequence. We'll have to click browse and look for our pictures. Now instead of selecting them all, we just have to select the first one. Click open. And for move type, we're going to go to free move because my camera was not on a tripod. And hit track. Alright, my video is now done. Uh, what we're going to want to do is go to file, save, and save as a Blender Python script. And just save it somewhere that you can remember. For the file type, uh, we're working with Blender 2.49, so we have to select that. But what we're going to do is open up Blender. We're going to hit A, and then A again, so everything's selected. We're going to hit the delete key on our keyboard and erase the selected. We're going to select down here the little grid 3D view and we're going to go to text editor. We're going to go to open new. Now we're going to open it and as you see in the text we can see the output of the Voodoo program. 
And now with your mouse on this window, hit Alt P on your keyboard. And now what that did is run the script. So we're going to go back to 3D view. And we're going to see all these little dots and what these are the tracking points in the video. Now if we want to line it up more, like instead of it looking down, we can make it look up. All we got to do is select the empty in the middle by right clicking it. Hit the, on your numpad, hit the 3 button. Just hit R and rotate it like this. And we're going to hit G. We're just going to bring it to the middle so now we can see. So we're going to go to view, background image, use, and load it. And now all we got to do is find that first video file that we used. But we're going to go to auto refresh so we can see each frame coming by. So in my opinion, that's pretty good. Now we're going to want to add our 3D in the actual footage. Now you can find a bunch of different 3D models. Um, I'll put a couple links in the description. Uh, you can go to blenderartist.org, you can go to TurboSquid, you can buy them, you can find them free. They're honestly everywhere around the internet. And uh, once you get good with Blender, you can animate whatever you want into your footage. Uh, but right now, we're just going to use the default Blender Suzanne Monkey Head. So what we're going to do is hit Space, Add, Mesh, Monkey. We can hit the 3 key on the number pad. And what we can do is line up the monkey head with our ground. And it's, it's sort of hard to see from here, so you just got to keep adjusting it with R to rotate, G to move, and S to scale. And these are pretty much the three operations that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and try and line this up. I'm hit the 7 key on the number pad. I'm going to go space, add, mesh, plane. And if we scroll out, we can see that there's a plane there. We can go S to scale it, uh, G to move it. And what we're going to want to do is move it right under the monkey. And now what we're going to want to do is make it so only the shadow shows on this plane so we can have it a little more realistic. So we're going to go to shading. We're going to go to add new because we're under the materials button, add new material. It uh, doesn't matter what color. We're going to go to shaders under this tab. We're going to go only shadow. But before we have any shadows, we need an actual light. So we're going to go space, add, lamp, add a sun. And this is just going to represent the light from coming from my ceiling. I'm going to make a ray shadow. Uh, I'm going to put two, two samples. Soft size is 1.5, just to make the shadow a little blurrier. Another thing to add a little bit more realism to the scene is add ambient occlusion. So we're just going to go to the world buttons, hit the ambient occlusion tab, and select it. Instead of 3D view, we're going to go into video sequence editor. We're going to add in our original movie. put it on frame one and then we're going to hit space and we're going to add in a scene and we're going to do the default scene that we were just in select like the top one and then the bottom one by holding shift and right clicking hold space and put an alpha under before we export it we can select our output and output it to wherever we want monkey CGI. You can hit animate and when it's done you are finished.
Alright guys, that's it for today for Stubbs FX Tutorials. Remember to subscribe and keep watching.